difficult to do. He's now going to use this for the thing and watch shape. Yeah. But look how upright he is. Because he's doing this, he's not got a strain on his hips. The way you're all kicking, I can understand why you don't kick to the head because there's so much strain going on. Whereas that, he's got a right whack and he's upright. So afterwards, He's here. And he's got this from us, haven't you? Yeah. So we punch in his. And then he's here, yeah, so. And there's no strain on it, okay? Because, first of all, when he's done the punch, does the punch, this is now elastic. His muscles are now stretched and want to release. And then, without even if he doesn't do any kick shop at the back, this pullback and that spring the release will bring the, that shape. That shape, he's not even had to think about. Well, he's had to think about that because he's doing it. But that shape just comes, doesn't it? it it's not a strain for it. And then the finish, that, that should now be pointing with a pistol on it to my pad. And that when it's there, just keep is there. And look at the hands. And watch his foot goes in to let the hip go in and back out again. And the impact that we've taught them how to do it, the impact isn't in going in. The impact comes from coming out. What do I mean by that? No? Think of a bullwhip. Think of a bullwhip. So I've got, I've got a whip and I go, Brah! And it moved. Where, where do you get the crack from the whip from? The end. It ain't the going out, it's the coming back. So what we want with head kicks is a bit like overtaking a three-trailer Arctic on the M1 in a snowstorm. You want to get the exposure time as short as possible. That's what this is. He's up there for a fraction of a second and he's whipping his out. But the impact is the depth to which it just goes in before see him whip it out. But that's got a right whack on it. Okay, that's massive impact. But it's the gut. Well, it's not that thing. Shit. It's not that thing. Say that. No, no, no. Turn them off. Turn them off. Turn them off. So there. So it's that. Whip back out. It's giving me that impact. Now we can only just touch it. So we could score with it. So it could be on my head here, just swoop, bang, score with it. Or it can full contact, bang, it's gone and I'm out. Okay. But he's upright, he's square, his hands are in play to take things down, to punch, to counter. He can decide, so let's say we're fighting, and he knows I'm somebody, whenever he does anything, I go, whenever he does anything, I, I'm going back. So what he knows is, when he does the punch and the kick, that his leg now, when he kicks, the weight is going to let it come forward. So he's now going to use the end of the kick to give him the transition forward. So when he does the kick, here's only the bit, here he's here. But if he knows I'm waiting to go at him, he'll kick and he's back. So his leg weight-wise is now determining, depending on who he's fighting and what he's seeing they're going to do, or he's tested what we're going to do, he can now use his leg to put the weight forward or go back. But it, I don't think he can do it to lean back more. Uh, that's it. <laughs> well, uh, well, well, look, that, that hand is in on the game. He needs a bus ticket to use that hand. It's pointless. So he's here. No, no, the other one, that one. And I just go like, you know, Oh, this is that. But now he does it, he hits. Don't pop all that. Yeah. Now look at him. Now he can go forward, can go back, can engage. Okay. And that's all with the hands. It's the counter rotation that we're using. Okay. Any questions? Counter rotation, overlapping transitions for combinations, thinking what we can borrow from the end of one. <coughs> So if I want to, if I'm fighting Neil, 
and you want somebody who, who I know is going to go back, and I want to, and I want to transition. I'm not going to do this and start to move, okay? What I'm going to make sure of is my gap here now, I overbalance on it. So, so here, I overbalance and fall into it. So people say, well, when people come up and train with us, we do all sorts of things, falling this way to, to get techniques, or when we're hit with falling as we do gap here this way. People say you're off balance. You're only off balance if you didn't intend to be there. You're in balance if I'm seen to be falling over but intended to do it. So if I want to do, let's say I want to hook and I know it's fine. So I'm going to go here, but as I do this, I actually fall into the hook. I don't do this, then step and hook. You'll just follow me. So I fall and then hook. So as I hit I'm falling, and then the step is giving me the power for the hook. So I fall on the reverse foot. So from here, I fall on the jack hook. And then I'm going to hook. And the fall gives me the power for the hook. Yeah? I don't go one, and then you can people say, you're off balance, we don't do that in children. Yeah. Okay, crack on. So. Schoolboy karate. You don't care what you do. When it comes to tactics, when it comes to that ultimate what will work properly, okay, you can't get caught with tradition. And it's just so that was somebody's idea that somebody else has frozen in amber. You know, all styles were just somebody's idea. And somebody got hold of it and said, we want to territorially make sure we protect this because we're earning shed loads and we're at the top of this tree. So we won't let anybody change this or interfere with it or introduce anything. This is what we're going to do. And this is the ultimate. We'll tell people that. And I'll tell you something else. We'll end up believing it for the next hundred years. Yeah? It doesn't stand the test of time. And it doesn't stand the test of free will and free thought. Yeah? So you've got to bring other influences into it. So balance is one of those. So if I'm, so if I'm here and I want to go in, so again, how do I, how do I disguise what hand am I going to use? So I'd be, I'd be looking for, you know, I'm going to be here with that bottom hand. So what I'm doing from here is, I'm here, I'm looking at this, but now I've got that kick shot here. So as I'm here, I'm just looking down, he can, I'm trying to pull him down, boom, I'm going to come over the top. So programming people is part of it. Overbalancing intentionally to get distance and commitment for power. Okay. So we'll do we'll do another one. I'll use people. Thanks, Neil. Thanks. 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 Thanks.